Please join me in welcoming the creator of Cars, the chief creative officer of Walt Disney and Pixar Animation Studios, and the principal creative advisor of Walt Disney Imagineering, John Lasseter. Thanks, Tom, for that wonderful introduction. I just want to start by saying thank you to Bob Iger, to Jay Rizzullo, and to you, Tom, for this. You know, investing in the beauty of this, this Disney California image without you guys, you know, the future, um, the future guests coming to this land would not have this amazing place that we have now. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Jay. You guys are the best. You know, I love working with the Walt Disney Imagineers and working so closely with them and all the cast members on Cars Land, you know, has been an absolute thrill for all of us at Pixar, but especially for me. Because these characters and stories are so close to me personally. You know? There's so many people that are excited and I have to say one of the things that I love most about Cars Land is how every element, big and small, works together to create this immersive world where our guests can enjoy themselves with their family and their friends. But from the attractions, the entertainment, the food, the merchandise, the costumes, even the plants and flowers, everything meshes together to transport our guests to the world of cars. And, and thanks to all the efforts of the Imagineers, you, the folks at Pixar, this place really is real at this point. It is so, yeah, Tom, you're so right. Yeah, um, hi, uh, oh boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna introduce you to John Lassatire, my alter ego <laughs> from Cars 2. How's it going? a great idea for a new Cars 2. It's about a pickup truck with wood paneling, huh? Oh, wow, that sounds really great, John. Um, I, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit. Oh, come on, pickup trucks with wood paneling is the next big thing, dude. Okay, okay, picture this. What would Bob be like if he was a character in the Cars world? Okay, now, that all the time. Right? Now think about it, he's always amazingly dressed, right? So he would naturally be a sports car, right? Look at that, huh? Bob Iger is a sports car. Now, no, but it, yeah, it could, he's an amazing family man with Willow and his boys and his daughters and everything. So I think maybe he could be a station wagon. What do you think? I think he's a family man now. But really, you know what? He's, he's the greatest leader of the greatest company on earth. And this company is really big, yeah, right? It carries a lot of, lot of big, heavy load. Yeah, he's a, he, he, and so the, uh, he would probably be a semi-truck, right? <laughs> there you go. Bob Iger, one of those three things in cars. Now, but, I'm, but I kept thinking about you. I was afraid of that. Yeah. You as a Cars character in there, right? Let me, let me feel, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you might be a muscle car. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Come on, you like that? Yeah. That's My great. My boys are like that. But, like, Tom Staggs is one of the smartest guys that I know. So you could be a smart car. <laughs> Look at that, it matches your coat. Come on. Or it's Bruce's coat. Bruce's coat. <laughs> yeah, but above all, but above all, with the amazing additions to the Disney parks that you are bringing joy to millions of people with your intelligence, your grace, and your good humor. So therefore, I think you'd be an ice cream truck. <laughs> Tom Stacks, look at that. I think he's an ice cream truck. Okay, I can't wait to see the next car short with me and Bob. Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. So, I think it'll be awesome. All right, I think people want to see what's behind this. So uh, I know you brought along some special guests with us That's to right. share the moment. That's right. Is this not the greatest thing ever, everybody? Is this not great? I mean, it's almost like they're stepping into Radiator Springs. You it's cannot right. start any of this without Mater and Lightning McQueen. <laughs> but lucky for you. They're almost here. Just try to hold on from this one day until the next day gone. Sometimes it bends, sometimes it's hands, sometimes it turns back to the way. It's a world outside the dark and normal blue. 